ready for school. I'm all ready for school. My dad is at work, but I had so much to do. Did you ever go to school? Because I do. Backpack. Backpack. I just want to be my Sophia. Mommy is my best friend. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another day in the life vlog. If you're new here, my name is Frankie and I do a lot of motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. But it is 8.30 right now, we did preschool drop off this morning and we are home. I haven't even had coffee, I haven't had breakfast and I am starving, my stomach is growling. Usually I try to have something before we go to drop off so that I don't get nauseous. But the morning sickness has kind of been wearing off and this morning I didn't have time to whip anything up. So I'm going to eat breakfast right now before I start getting sick because I am getting a little nauseous now. But thank you guys for clicking on this video today. I'm excited to be filming another vlog. I feel like it's been a little while since I did a vlog. I've been doing quite a few sit down videos. So I know you guys love these and um, I love filming them. So I am going to make my coffee and get that going because mama needs her coffee. <laughs> had almond milk in my coffee in so long I usually do oat milk but I do love almond milk so I'm gonna have some of that today and then I have been sprinkling my cinnamon in my coffee and I love it and I'm not even a big cinnamon fan but it's so good and so perfect for fall tonight for dinner Gage and I are gonna make these chili pie burritos Kind of sounds weird, but we were watching Food Network the other day, something like Gage and I have always done together since we started dating. And this recipe came up and it looked so good. So he is gonna pick up some of the ingredients on his way home from work. Um, and it's not like too hard to make, so I'm excited. Sounds really good. And since it's like early <laughs> fall, sounds like a perfect fall day <laughs> recipe. Gage is actually on his way home from his morning shift. He does have to go back today but we're gonna have breakfast together and he's gonna make egg sandwiches with turkey bacon which I was just gonna whip up some eggs but he called and said he would make breakfast so that sounds good to me um, I don't think I even showed you guys I painted that door back there like a sage green color okay. here you go let me close it there you go um, so yeah it looks really nice for fall. I do have some fall decorations up, but today feels super fally until this afternoon. It's supposed to hit like 75, but it's like super cool in the morning and super cool in the evening. So definitely feeling like fall and I'm in a really like fall mood. Oh my goodness though, I have to show you. I finally picked up our first baby boy clothing pieces. I shared them on Instagram, you might have seen there, but um, I haven't bought any baby clothes for little baby boy and usually I'm like all over buying the baby clothes like as soon as I find out I'm pregnant. So I just grabbed two cute pieces from TJ Maxx. They're always pretty inexpensive there. But this one I thought was so cute. I love this color for a little boy and a little girl. But that's so cute. I picked this one up in 0 to 3. So our first little piece for our little baby boy. And then, um, this one they didn't have in like 3 to 6, so I just grabbed it in 6 to 9. But, if he is anything like my other babies, they are always like 3 sizes ahead of their age. So, um, and this looks pretty tiny, but it's just like a two-piece set. Um, so perfect, and I love the colors, so I just have them hanging in his room for now. And then I also found this little milestone um, card set. I definitely want to take monthly pictures, but I had one of these in my Amazon cart for like $20 and then Gage spotted this at TJ Maxx for 6 <laughs> so I just grabbed it. It doesn't have any extras, just like month 1 through 12, but that is perfect for me and I'm excited to take his little monthly pictures, but I am just in awe seeing little baby boy clothes in my house. It's like unreal. I will officially be 12 weeks tomorrow with 
this little guy my bump is growing a lot i'll have to give you guys like a little bump date but i decided i'm gonna do a first trimester update um i haven't been doing weekly updates i told you guys i just don't have like a lot of symptoms to share <laughs> weekly i feel like so i'm gonna do a first trimester update and then maybe after that i'll start doing them every like two to three weeks if that's something you guys are interested in um i also have a very exciting appointment this saturday in regards to this little guy so um, after that appointment i feel like i'll have some news to share with you guys that's kind of exciting but i'm excited and i can't wait to share i'm also a little nervous to share for some reason but anyway <laughs> Juicing hacks is to put a bag in the little pulp container, and that way it keeps it clean. Okay, the morning has slipped away, and it is now actually almost time to go get Sophia. Mila is napping, and she was really hard to put down for a nap. She woke up twice, so I spent the last like hour making sure she's asleep. So she's really only been asleep for about 30 minutes. Um, but this morning. I cleaned the house, I uh, Bissell mopped my floors, vacuumed the living room, um, I did do the dishes but they're full again from juicing, which by the way this juice that I made, I didn't have a lot of kale so it turned out like pretty orange but it's like the sweetest green juice I've ever had and I really need to start juicing again because my eating has been off but like I said tonight we're making those chili pie burritos. And I'm gonna have some lunch right now because I am getting hungry again. Um, I haven't eaten anything since that breakfast sandwich this morning. So I think I'm just gonna whip up something really quick to eat before I have to go get Sophia in 30 minutes. I really don't have a lot of time to cook anything. So I kind of made like a breakfast snacky lunch. Two Kodiak blueberry waffles, coconut yogurt, which is my favorite coconut yogurt or my favorite yogurt of all time. So delicious vanilla coconut milk yogurt. And then I put some coconut granola on top. So that's what I'm gonna eat before we had to drop off or pick up. <laughs> So I'm cooking up dinner. I'm just roasting or toasting some canned corn because I'm gonna make um, corn salad on the side and toasting the corn is so good. But I'm gonna make those um, chili pie burritos and I'm just gonna show you what you need and then I'll just link the recipe down below so that I don't have to share like exactly what to do. But you are gonna need some tortillas. I'm using some carb balance ones because that's what I bought at the grocery store. Um, red kidney beans, a can of tomato sauce, tomato paste, some chili powder, ground beef, of course, or you can, I guess, use turkey, but we're gonna use lean ground beef. 
some minced garlic. I just use like pre-minced out of a jar. Olive oil. Um, you will need some cheddar cheese for like topping, I guess. And then you're also gonna need corn chips because I guess it's supposed to be like a walking taco in a burrito. So corn chips, Gage had to pick these up earlier. So I'm pretty sure that's like majority of the ingredients, but I will link the recipe in the description. So here's how the chili pie burritos turned out. Um, this one's kind of open so I can show you what it looks like inside. I just toasted them up, but they definitely look like basically walking tacos inside of a burrito. So it sounds re really good. I made some corn salad to go on the side and now we're just waiting for Gage to get home from work. I also just made this, it looks like a giant cookie, but it's supposed to be like a cookie cake. I got the recipe off Pinterest, but it had like healthier ingredients in it. So we're gonna try this out later after dinner and I will check back. I will say 10 out of 10 recommend these burritos. They are so good, so, so good. I'm actually grilling up and heating Gage's other burrito because um, he didn't get to come home for dinner. He won't be home for probably another 20, 30 minutes. So I just wanted to get the girls fed and myself so that I can get them bathed and ready for bed. I think we're gonna do an early bedtime tonight because I can tell both of them are really tired. Mila had to be woken up from her nap when I went to get Sophia earlier and Sophia is tired from school. So we're gonna do early bedtime tonight. But dinner was really good. I'm gonna try dessert here soon, but I'm really full so I'm gonna wait a little while. So we're gonna do bath and bedtime and I've gotta get this off the stove. The light is fading, so sorry for the dark. But I'm gonna get pajamas out, get these girls showered, and then I'm also gonna pick Sophia's clothes out for school and get her approval because <laughs> she might not wear what I choose. She has gym tomorrow, so we are gonna go with a pair of leggings. Okay, for the sake of the video, and before it gets too late, we are gonna try the cookie pie. It did um, fall apart a little bit. It's pretty crumbly, but I have high hopes. Okay. I feel like I need to eat it with like my fingers. Mm. It tastes like a cookie. I feel like this would be good with vanilla ice cream. I have like this healthy chocolate chip cookie recipe. I'm gonna say it's just like that. I would make it again. It is bedtime. Woo! Here comes Sophia. She wants to end the vlog with me. Hello! Hello! It is 7.38. Gage got home super late from work, so he I ate dinner. dinner I love you too. By himself, uh, we gave the girls baths. I took a shower and now we are getting ready for bed because we've got school again in the morning. Oh my goodness, I've gotta show you guys. For Abby. We have to show them your school picture, okay? I posted this on Instagram, but her school picture turned out so cute. I'm obsessed. You look so cute. My little four-year-old. My pre-kindergarten. I love you, but anyways, we are going to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. 
and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any more videos from me and that is gonna be all i will see you guys in the next one bye everyone bye everybody